Hi, we're, we're running a little bit behind on schedule, so we're going to skip the next little bit with the crowd mic and go right into the candidate forum. We have several people running for office here that would like the opportunity to speak to you briefly. This is not a candidate forum. We didn't want it to be a candidate event, but certainly we want to welcome them and let them have the opportunity to speak with you and you with them. They have tents all up across the top of the hill, up at the, at the rise there. And first out is a man that I've known in Wake County who helped take over one of the largest public school systems in North Carolina, get it back on track to a neighborhood-based school, getting away from institutionalized diversity where the focus is on results and achievement and not politically correct policy. Please welcome my good friend, Mr. John Tedesco, running for Superintendent of Public Instruction. for a state auditor, could not be here, Deborah Goldman, but we are happy to have with us his, her campaign manager, Mr. Robert Watkins. How's everybody doing today? Well, that don't sound like you're excited. Try again. How's everybody doing today? I like that. My name is Robert Watkins. I am Deborah Goldman's campaign manager, and I want to thank you all for being here today. Now, the reason I'm, reason I'm, oh, shoot. All right. I hope you all are doing well and rested up. We got 45 days to put America and North Carolina on the comeback trail. So it is imperative that we reach our friends, family, and let them know about lower taxes, lower regulation, and personal responsibility. As I've traveled the state from Mania to, well, I got that wrong. As I traveled it from the Outer Banks to the mountains of North Carolina, one thing is apparent. We're all in this together. 
We all want to see change. We want America to be the beacon of light to the people uh, for all religion, religions, creeds, and colors. Unfortunately, we've allowed that light to dim in America today. That must change. It's time to stop the set it and forget it mentality that our nation and our state has gotten currently. We have to be engaged. We have to stand up and demand that our elected officials, and better yet, our employees, because that's what they are, do what's best for our country and our state. We must first and foremost start with financial responsibility. That is why Deborah Goldman entered the race to be your North Carolina auditor. Yes, it's not a flashy job, nor is it one that a lot of people know much about. But it's one that is in, that one of the most important positions of the Council of State. It is the responsibility of the auditor to investigate fraud, waste, and abuse. It is the responsibility of the auditor to be the financial watchdog over your tax dollars. It is the responsibility of the auditor to crack down on corruption and cronyism. Let me leave with this. It is time. It is time for North Carolina to have a state government free of fraud, waste, and abuse. It is time for North Carolina to have a state government free of corruption and cronyism. It is time for North Carolina to have a state government free of embezzlement and mismanagement. I implore each and every one of you to join me and Deborah Goldman and the Council of State for the conservative cause. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you. Next up is a gentleman many of you know who met in person. I, I haven't seen him myself. I hope he's here. Our own Senator Don East. Yes, I am here. Wonderful. Uh, where, where are you? Uh, okay, now I see you. Hey, how you doing? Good afternoon, folks. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to see a tremendous crowd here at beautiful Joe Miyoki Park. And I'll have to tell you a little story. I was here about three months ago, and I'm standing where Willie Nelson was standing about three months ago. Woo! And I was standing sitting right there, and boy, did I love the Willie Nelson show. Yeah. Wait a minute, he does. If you ever get a chance, uh, go out and see Willie. Uh, thank you, folks, for coming. I'm Don East. I live just over on the other side of the mountain. I'm a member of the North Carolina Senate, and I am running for re-election. I uh, feel very uh, somewhat comfortable about my chances to win the uh, election. I'm running against the same guy that ran uh, last time, and and with redistricting, the uh, district is actually more uh, Republican today than it was last election. So that gives me just a little bit of a uh, little bit of comfort, and I don't have a whole lot of a whole lot of concerns about my particular race, but folks, I do have some, some very serious concerns about the direction of this country. Uh, if I were an independent, or if I were a conservative Democrat, I would absolutely be ashamed of what happened in Charlotte a couple of weeks ago. I believe the National Democrat Party has left the local Conserv relatively speaking, conservative Democrats out of the party. They, they have embraced homosexual marriage. They left God out of their, uh, out of their, their uh, plan of organization, uh, constitution, whatever they call it. They have turned their backs on Israel, and even the Bible speaks to the countries that turn their backs on Israel. Folks, I'm afraid we're heading down the wrong path. And I'm getting on up in, uh, i got a few years on me now, and I'm probably not going to be around to pay the consequences, but all of you all's children and grandchildren are going to be around to pay the consequences. So it's, it's very, very important, very, very imperative that we get that crowd out of the White House. I, I, I can't imagine that we have come to this point in this nation that we would put up with what's going on in the White House of this country. Uh, I believe the red light's on, and it's time for me to hush, so I will go away. 
and, and, and bring up my, my beautiful uh, friend. Uh, she used to be Mia Morris, and right now she's Mia White, and uh, she's from over in Davie County. Thank you all for what you do. Thank you for having me today. Thank you. Can we all say, run, Forrest, run? Run, Forrest, run! Let me hear you! I gotta say, what awe it is for me to be silhouetted by this great flag, and I don't care what they say in the White House. I am not ashamed and will never apologize for being America, being an American, and for our strength and our dignity as a nation. And thank you for being here and proving it to the world. All right. I've been involved in North Carolina politics for nearly 20 years. Yes, I'm only 27. But anyway, I have seen candidates run, and I've seen them win, and I've seen them lose. But every once in a while, a great candidate comes along that makes me excited to be involved in politics in North Carolina. And i got to say, Dan Forrest is one of those candidates. He is unassailable in his conservative values. He has integrity, he is smart, he's a businessman, and he is a great family man. I am proud to support Dan Forrest. And Ron Forrest won, but I want to leave you with one important thought, and we've heard it. The Council of State races are so important. They're not glamorous, and you're not going to see them all over the TV and everywhere but they're very important. The Council of State is important, but the Lieutenant Governor is especially important because he carries the water for our next Governor, Pat McCrory. Pat's initiatives and policies will not go through the legislature unless Dan Forrest is there to carry the water. If you see gridlock in Washington, boy, you will see it in North Carolina if we don't elect a strong conservative team of Forrest and McCrory. So please tell everybody, don't just go in and check off president and vice president and governor. Get down to the council of state. Vote conservative and let's change North Carolina and really show the world our strength and our might as Americans and as North Carolinians. Woo! Vote down.